Hi everyone, welcome to a new session. Today we are going to look at a story entitled "One Man in a Boat." 大家好，今天我们学习第二十课，课文的标题是 "One Man in a Boat." 独坐孤舟。The story is about a man who likes fishing. 故事呢讲的是一个爱好钓鱼的人。Okay, let's start by looking at the keywords and expressions. 下面呢我们先看一看本课的关键词和短语。Favorite, fisherman, fisherman 是单数，它的复数形式是 fisherman。Boot, rubbish. Give up. A waste of time. Realize. Be interested in. As usual, I'm going to give you three questions to help you understand the story better. 像往常一样。我给大家提课文中的三个问题，帮助大家更好的理解故事中的内容。一起来看一下。Question number one: What do some unlucky fishermen catch? 一些运气不好的钓鱼人通常会钓上些什么东西来 ？Question number two. Why does the writer say he is even less lucky? 作者为什么说他的运气更不好 ？Question number three. What is he really interested in? 他真正感兴趣的是什么 ？Fishing is my favorite sport. I often fish for hours without catching anything. But this does not worry me. Some fishermen are unlucky. Instead of catching fish, they catch old boots and rubbish. I am even less lucky. I never catch anything, not even old boots. After having spent whole mornings on the river. I always go home with an empty bag. You must give up fishing, my friends say. It's a waste of time. But they don't realize one important thing. I'm not really interested in fishing. I am only interested in sitting in a boat and doing nothing at all. Did you find the story interesting? 大家觉得这个故事是不是有点意思呢？好，下面呢，我们来回答课文的问题，加深一下对课文内容的印象。What do some unlucky fishermen catch? 一些不太走运的钓鱼人通常钓上些什么东西来 ？They often catch old boots and rubbish. 他们钓上来的通常是一些旧靴子和垃圾。Why does the writer say he is even less lucky? 作者为什么说他的运气更不好 ？Because he never catches anything, not even old boots. 因为他总是什么也钓不着，连旧靴子也没钓到过。What is he really interested in then? 那么他对什么真正感兴趣呢 ？He is only interested in sitting in a boat and doing nothing at all. 他真正感兴趣的是一个人坐在船上，什么也不做。Okay, that's it for the questions and answers. Now we'll move on to the next segment, which is language points. 下面呢，我们就来看看本科中的语言点。Fishing is my favorite sport. 钓鱼是一项我特别喜爱的娱乐。Fishing 在这里是动名词，做主语
，它的语法功能就相当于一个名词。我们来看例句 ：Shopping is fun for many women。对于很多女人来说，买东西是一项乐趣。Shopping 也是动名词。Smoking can cause lung cancer. 吸烟呢能够导致肺癌。Smoking 也是动名词，做主语。另外，这个句子中的 sport 不是运动的意思，而是消遣、娱乐、game 或者是 pastime。好，我们再看下一个语言点。I often fish for hours without catching anything. 我去钓鱼经常是一钓几个小时，却总是一无所获。Fish 在这里是动词，不及物动词。Without catching anything 是一个介词 ，without 加上动名词，构成的一个介词短语。那么。在介词后面跟动名词，我们再来看看两个例句。After talking to him, I felt better. 跟他谈了话以后，我感觉好多了。这里呢是在介词 after 后面跟了一个动名词 talking。I apologize for interrupting you. 打断了你，我很抱歉。这里也是动名词 ，interrupting， 跟在介词 for 后面。Instead of catching fish, they catch old boots and rubbish. 他们没有钓到鱼，却钓上来一些旧靴子和垃圾。Instead of 是一个介词短语，它的意思是作为什么什么的替换。我们来看例句。They don't catch fish. Instead, they catch old boots and rubbish. 这句话的意思和上面是一样的，但是这里呢用了连词 instead， 意思也是作为什么的替换。相当于说不是怎么样，而是怎么样。好，我们再看下一个例句。He ordered chicken instead of fish. 他没有点鱼，而是点了鸡。Instead of， 也是介词短语。这个句子中还有一个词 ，rubbish， 大家要注意一下，它是不可数名词，所以呢，没有复数形式。I am even less lucky. 我的运气更不好，我更不走运。这句话其实省略了比较的对象，说全了就是 ：I am even less lucky than those fishermen who only catch boots and rubbish。这句话如果用英文中的另外一种比较方式来表达，可以说 ：I'm not even as lucky as they are。用。Not as as. He is getting less talkative than usual. 他变得比以往不爱说话了。好，我们再看这个语言点。You must give up fishing. 你可别再钓鱼了。Give up 是一个词组，意思是。放弃什么？在后面呢？跟名词，这里是动名词。好，我们来看看这个词组的用法。Don't give up hope。不要放弃希望。You should give up smoking。你应该戒烟。Give up 后面跟的是动名词 smoking。再看下一个原点。They don't realize one important thing. 他们没有意识到一件重要的事情。Realize 
，在这里呢是意识到。I realize that it's very late now. 我意识到现在已经很晚了。Realize 还有实现的意思，比如这个例句 ：He has realized his dream. 他实现了他的梦想。Right, so much for the language points. Next, we'll move on to key structures and usage. 语言点我们就先讲到这儿。接下来我们要看一看本科中的关键句型和用法。这里我们要讲的是动名词。动名词呢，一般是由动词加上 ing 这样的形式构成的。动名词的语法功能相当于一个名词。那么它可以在句子中做主语，也可以做宾语。下面呢，我们来通过几个例句看一看。Fishing is my favorite sport. 钓鱼是我最喜爱的一项娱乐。Fishing 在这里呢，做主语，是动名词。You must give up fishing. 你别再钓鱼了。这里的 fishing 动名词做 give up 的宾语。I am only interested in sitting in a boat and doing nothing at all. 我感兴趣的只是坐在船里，什么也不做。这个句子中有两个动名词，一个是 sitting， 还有一个是 doing。这两个动名词在句子中都是做 be interested in 的宾语。那么，在这里大家可以看出 ，doing 后面还可以跟宾语 doing nothing， 因为它的构成词 do 是一个及物动词，所以呢，这里也可以在动名词可以有自己的宾语。好，下面呢，我们看看跟在介词后面的动名词。I often fish for hours without catching anything. 我钓鱼的时候经常是一钓几个小时，却一无所获。这里呢是 without 后面跟 catching anything. Instead of catching fish, they catch old boots and rubbish. 他们没钓到鱼，却是钓上来一些旧靴子和垃圾。那么这里呢？也是在介词短语后面跟动名词短语 ，catching fish. After having spent whole mornings on the river, I always go home with an empty bag. 我常常是在河上一待就是一上午，然后呢，我就空着袋子回家。这个句子中的动名词是跟在介词 after 后面。那么这里的动名词呢，是现在完成时态的动名词 having spent。好，最后呢，再就话题说上几句。这个故事之所以有味道，是因为它带有几分禅意。禅在英文中是 zen，z e n zen。所以，可以说这个故事是一个 a Zen story。另外呢，故事中也带有几分道家的意境，清净无为。故事很容易让我们想起一句古诗：“孤舟蓑笠翁，独钓寒江雪。”的确是有几分意境在里边。有道是：“醉翁之意不在酒，在乎山水之间也。”那么故事中的这个钓鱼人呢，也是并不在乎钓上鱼来。而是在乎清净，那么对他来讲，钓鱼呢是一种放松心灵的一种方式 ，a means of relaxation and enjoying the peace of mind。好，话题呢就说到这儿 ，see you next time。